Captain. Incoming message. Hello, hello, hello. So you know how sometimes you're like, man, I just need a change. Well, I was kind of in that mood yesterday. And so I took a couple hours and I redid my Skyrim game. Now I did keep all my core mods, but I came in and I changed some things here. I tried to put these in a load order that went along with what they're supposed to be, and we're just trying some different stuff out. Of course, my core mods are still the same, but I've added some things in here and there and done some different things to try to give us something to go play around with and have a good time with, to try to have a little bit of everything in the game. Um, hopefully this will all work out. We're going to find out, though, if we have any issues or anything. But uh, I've included a lot of little suggestions and a lot of little things and then brought in some things that I like and I kept some things the same. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of flipping down through this so you can see some of that. And, uh, you know, just, um, again, just was in the mood. I was like, you know, let's just try something different. Let's do something a little different. Um, a lot of things I'm using here <clears throat> are, uh, smaller mods, but they're supposed to still be good mods. Um, but I tried to fit in as much stuff <laughs> as I could, knowing that I did not include a lot of followers, knowing that I can always make copies of people and have my own followers through the uh, cheat room. Um, I also, uh, I guess I didn't include a lot. I've, I've only included like one little mod which has a little uh, raciness to it. Everything else is more catered to, I don't know, just having a fun, hopefully kind of realistic old style game. We'll see how it goes. Now, I did make up Elric this time. He looks a lot like the old Porthos, except I, I gave him some blue hair and, uh, you know, stuff. I just like, I like my people to have a different look. So he looks kind of alienish, I guess, or weird, but I don't care. I just thought it looked kind of cool. Um, depends on what you like. You know, you like what you like. I have no problem with that. So that's just the way I, the way I made his character. Now I'm getting ready to pop down out of here, go like to, uh, <clears throat> some different places, get him some supplies, you know, kind of get him fixed up. Haven't decided on who I'm going to use for followers yet, because we do have a difficulty mod that is supposed to have a lot of enemy spawn. That may end up causing a lot of crashes. I don't know. I've had difficulty sometimes in the past when some mods spawn a lot of people um, that it can uh, cause crashes. But nonetheless, we're going to test this out and try it out. You'll notice I am using the new smaller Clever Sharf mod that someone uh, put out there. We're going to go over all these mods in detail. I didn't want to, this isn't really a mod, uh, load order show, but did want to kind of show you while we're testing. And you can see in the cheat room here that this is Clever Sharf's work. You can see it in the rocks and the walls. You can see it in the wood and the floor and everything. And I also have the, you know, the friendly SMM and some other things like that. I tried to go, I leaned towards smaller mods. I'm hoping I have some better uh, flora and foliage and trees. We're going to see. That was one of my big pushes, and I'm trying something different out, okay? So hopefully that'll work out for us. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm just going to do a quick save, and I'm going to pop us down to uh, White Run. And uh, we're going to see if everything loads up good or if we're going to have issues. Hopefully everything will load up fine. So... Uh, this load, I don't know how long this load will be. I've not taken Elric out of the cheat room yet, so let's just bear with me. I just want to kind of take us through running around and getting some supplies and doing some things. I'm not sure what armor and everything I want him to use yet. Uh, I don't know if I want to put you through all the boring stuff where I get him set up. Um, I probably need to get me a couple of followers going, so... Um, I don't have the winches mods. I decided to drop those <clears throat> because I wanted space, that space for other things, which I'll show you using some Nord War uh, mods. As we know, I, I like the Nord War 
um, look to a lot of things and uh, just doing some different fun things. I also tried to set the game up so that if I wanted to, I can do like a conjurer or a necromancer and have a lot of uh, a lot of followers, I have like an army of followers. Now, mind you, I found in the past that the game can't really handle you having too many followers if you stress it out in every way possible. But, you know, maybe we can push it to its limits and see what we can do. All right. So here we go. We're in White Run. And notice the guard here. Yesterday, I, saw a I think he looks good, and I like this look. This is the light version of the guard armor overhaul. And, uh... I don't know. I think I like the I like the ground. I like the grass and stuff. Looks pretty good. This this stuff is like the Witcher decor. Is what those the flamey? What do you call that? The the it's not a pyre. Well, I can't. Brazier is what the braziers look like. Why is he just standing there? I don't know. But those are from the Witcher decor. They look pretty good. Oh, that's him. Divine smile. Hello, how you doing? So we didn't. Can we get his quest at this time? I, I doubt we can get it already. Sometimes I miss oh wait, soldier's life. I'm sorry. This is Elric. I've already done the quest. That's right. I forgot about that. So okay, so I like the braziers pretty good. I like the look here so far. Everything looks nice. I like the the guard overhaul. That's one of the girls. Of you. No. Even if you now I did do the RS children overhaul, and I gave them the the textiles with the uh, clothes. And of course, we kept uh, Nazim and his funky hair because it's just funny, you know why not? And it's just old and she looks um she looks all right. She looks good. Not complaining. Okay. Carlotta looks fine, okay. I, I, I always want to call her Cam Camilla, but I know that's wrong. That's the other girl in uh, River uh, Riverwood. Oh, another storm cloak. A captured dragon. I don't think I'll ever understand that one. That's all right, dude. Don't worry about it. So the tree looks pretty nice. Of course, I kept my cow. I, I will not get rid of that cow, probably. <clears throat> I have not seen a better cow mod. So I'm just looking here. You notice there's not a lot of flowers in town. It's grass and greenery, but not flowers. Now, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. I'm happy. I'm, I'm noticing that. Hmm. Okay. But overall, everything looks pretty good. I like the way the buildings look. Now, I'm not doing a, a super fancy, um, well, I'm doing a cool weather mod in my opinion. It's one that I like. I'm doing the, the Wander Alfheimer theme, which gives you a lot of pleasant weather and good sunshine and things. I think this looks pretty good myself. So... Now, I'm just wandering around. Like I said, I'm not really doing anything special. We're using the newer, updated Cathedral Water mod. I think it looks nice. I think the steps look cool. I'm trying to take my time and notice some of the differences. Is it? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. So I do like these armor, uh, these I do like these guards outfits. Now we'll have to start somebody new to see how everybody looks like before. I've already gone through the Civil War with uh, this version of Elric. So we've already 
gone through and we were on the Stormcloak side, and so the Stormcloak's one. <clears throat> I need to do someone else probably and go through, you know, the whole game uh, with a, a new person. Will I have the patience to do all that? I don't know. Like I said, I kind of got, I kind of got tired of the way we were going, and it was kind of slowly building. Um, and I just decided to do something about it. And this is what happens when I get tired and decide to do something about it. <laughs> so this is this is what ends up happening. But overall, now I am using an Embers mod, and I think these Embers look good, and a Fire mod, and I think the Fire looks good. Using a couple of smaller versions, not, uh, not big versions. But I think they really do improve the look. That's, um, Olfina. Yep. It's a fine day with you around. So I, she could be a follower. I like her. Now I am using a furniture overhaul too that was supposed to make some of these bookcases and stuff look better. I do think they look pretty good. Of course the SVM is also supposed to affect certain things like that, but this was a small mod called Noble Furniture and someone had suggested it and I said, you know, let's give it a whirl. We got a little space. So I'm going to grab some enchanting supplies here. Make sure I have everything I need. Now this pouch, I wonder if this pouch will be animated. Let's 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 zoom in for a moment. Because I've got animated clutter. Yeah, look at that. The little lid pops up. How nice. That is that's sweet. Look at that. That's cool. I, I say sweet in a in a cool way. Anyway, so that we were supposed to get that, so that's that's nice. I got the animated clutter mod that someone had suggested a while back. I tried to take a couple of suggestions um, and just say, you know, let's let's try those out. Of course, I brought back my door mod. I like my doors to look cool, and uh, that is the best door mod I know of. I like the way these banners look. I think these are part of uh, Clever Sharf stuff. Now I'm going to give you some things just off the top of my head. I'm not, uh, I've not really gone into super great detail, so if I get something wrong, I apologize. Good to see you again, friend. But you know, we're just kind of walking through. Um, everything seems to be working well. I, I went with. Uh, like I was saying, I went with a lot of 1K textures over 2K or greater textures. The reason being is I want the game to look good, but I'm trying not to stress the game out as much. And in the past, I've gotten a little, a little over the top, and I think I stressed the game out a little too much. I'm not seeing any kind of frame rate problem here. <laughs> the howling from Jorvaskar. Wow. Um, nonetheless, while I'm not seeing a lot of flowers, and that may be, that's kind of concerning to me. Like, I'm wondering if I shouldn't be seeing more flowers. But there is some nice greenery here, and this is a good choice if you want it to look good, but still keep your frame rate you know, at a reasonable, uh, at a reasonable, um, can't think of the right word, reasonable rate. Now here are, these look like some dead bushes I would have thought would not be here with that one mod I have. That says it would eliminate, but maybe it doesn't eliminate every dead bush. Maybe there's some that it doesn't eliminate. That's okay. Oh, look at him. He's wearing the nice lamellar stuff, I believe. Okay, so I do want to get out and look at some of the forests and stuff. I was really hoping some of the trees would look a lot better. Um, do want to take a look at some of the ice and snow. I was hoping that would also look good. These look pretty good. That little, a little bit of 
I don't know what kind of tree that's really supposed to be, or if it's just a little bush, but nonetheless, it looks pretty good. There are some flowers here. I know I said that I didn't see a lot of flowers, but look at those. Those are nice. There are some flowers here. And maybe they're just here in strategic spots in this version. And that's okay. I don't see anything wrong with that. Because when you, if you cover any town with too much stuff, it can cause uh, frame rate issues. But here, I think uh, I think this is very smooth. Feels very good. And those those look kind of cool. I've not noticed those looking like that before. So this is a different appearance for those dragon heads. I work with my mother. Yes. Sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days. But hard, but work. hard work. That's right. All right. Well, oh look, there's John looking cool and snazzy. He looks good. All right. So I think um, you know what I've gotten distracted by looking around, and I didn't get all my supplies. I see. I got my ingredients, and I got my enchanting supplies. We need to stop in here and pick up a few feud th food things. Feud. Feud things. I was thinking of the uh, feud between the Battleborns and the Grey Mains. But um I need to pick up some food stuff. I need to go down by the forge and grab some things. Then maybe we'll go look around some other towns. But if I go look around the other towns, we're going to get into things that I didn't necessarily want to start yet. There's Halda. We've used her before. Now here is Uthgard. Now this is my only, um, what a little bit of a skimpy mod I have is just the uh, the one the one mod that replaces some of the armors for females. Other than that, you're going to see mainly Nord War stuff. Xenia, how you doing? I would like to sell some stuff. Huh. She looks kind of disinterested, doesn't she, or something. She looks like something's wrong with her. Oh, wait, I don't want to sell right now. I haven't done my other stuff. We'll come back and see you later. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for Hold up. Whoa. Did you see that? Look at the bag animation. This is part of the animation stuff. Look at this. <laughs> it's like you're stretching the bag open. That's pretty funny. That's pretty cool. That was an idea. That's from the animated clutter, so I don't have any problem with that. That's kind of fun. Just going to grab my usual chicken and dumplings, and then we're going to head down and get the normal um, venison stew, I believe it is. Yeah. That's all the food I'll take. That's funny. Seeing that bag stretch like that is pretty cool. Um, it's good to know, you know, all this uh, stuff like that works out. Yeah, there we go. We got that on favorite. That's nice. All right, we'll come back and sell later. I gotta, I'll have to do some uh, sort of boring stuff, you know, get him set up, make him some armor. Um, I still need to pick a follower or two, and I haven't done that yet. But I want to pick someone that we haven't used before. I've used a lot of different people as followers, though, so I'm going to think about that. Overall, I have to say, I like the way White, White Run looks. It looks really nice. You're someone who can get things done. I like. That. I still used my NPC replacers that I think makes my people look really nice. I like the the embers here in the forge. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. I don't want to make something right now. I don't have the ingredients I need. Any, anyway, I like uh, the smelter here. It has its own unique style. Okay, so I'm just going to grab all these supplies here. There we go. It's a lot of stuff, believe me. But I'll just have him carry that around. It'll be okay. All right, so we're going to, I think, before I do more exploring, I think we're going to head out. Hey, what the, does he have a quest active, actually? Let's see what it is. 
investigate the camp south of Iverstead. You know what? We will do that after we go get him ready. I still need to pick a couple of followers, but I think I want to go somewhere else to maybe one of the other towns. So I'm going to take us up to Solitude and look around there. I just want to go to a different town and see how everything is. Let me do a save here before we do that. Okay. Now. I don't have everything active on his map. I decided to put everything on his map but not activate all of it. So that we still have lots of stuff to explore and do. You know, he's level 68, and he's done a lot of things in the game, but you can see I did not go everywhere and do everything. So we have stuff we can go explore and do. And then I did add in some of the the, uh, the dungeons, and I did the uh, Skyrim revisited all in one. Look at that. I never went to that dragon. Oh, and I haven't done Periot Sh Shrine. That's a shame. See, there's things I didn't do on him. That's That's too bad. What, what do we got up here? Oh, some interesting things up there we've not done. All right, well, that's cool. All right, so we're going to pop in. You're going to see Rogvir's... No, you're not. This is not a new game. I apologize. You're not going to see Rogvir's execution. I keep forgetting. This is not a new game. So I'm going to do some testing, and I'm going to take you through the testing with me. Um... Hopefully everything will be cool, like White Run was very nice, the, the cheat room has been very nice. I'm hoping that uh, Solitude here will be equally cool. Um, eventually we'll pop over to Markarth, and we'll go to Windhelm, and down to Riften. Uh, we'll check out, try to check out all the major holds. So here we are in Solitude. And did you see, look here. He has the old Stormcloak armor. Hmm, interesting. I wonder why his armor was not changed. And it looks like my game does not have the flowers. Look here, I have the, the stems, but I don't have the flowers. It looks like the flowers did not load. That's why White Run looked kind of odd. It had the greenery, but it did not have the flowers. And we're seeing the same thing here. Hmm. It's something of note that we'll have to uh, look further into. Why are we not getting the flowers? I like a lot of what I'm seeing, but uh, if I don't have the flowers, that kind of takes away from some of the towns. Good afternoon. Hello. No, y'all go on without me. Yeah, we're we're missing most of the flowers. Hmm. Not quite all the flowers, but most of the flowers are missing. So now I'm using organic um you know what, I can't remember the name exactly correctly. So let me, I will bring that up in a moment. And we'll take a look. But yeah, it looks like we're missing the flowers, you know, the tops, the, the petals. Uh, the wood, the wood looks pretty good. It, it looks like it's got a funny white look to it. This was not exactly. Do you see the bark? This looks, this, this stick looks pretty good. That looks like it has a weird white bark to it. Hmm. The barrel. It's an empty barrel. Oh, there's the little animation for it. That's nice. There's another, like, dead bush. Hmm. See, I think these... So we do have an issue here. We have an issue with no flowers. Now, I did a total, I mean, complete reset. So, because um, I've had my machine off overnight. We should be seeing more of these style flowers, in my opinion. But we're not. 
I've not gone through town and picked all the flowers. Perhaps I need to give it some time. These flowers look really nice. We'll go out in the wild, too, and see. Maybe I need to give it some time. Maybe something... Oh, well, I could do a whole new game, too. I did not do a whole new game on Elric, because Elric is level 68. It is a new modded game, but he did play through the game, um, you know, the vanilla game. He's the character I used originally to go through the vanilla game here on the Xbox One. So exciting when new folk come into town. I bet you've had plenty of adventures. Sure. So, okay. Let's go in and see the Blue Palace. I mean, everything's working fine. It's just that we're not getting the flowers, which is kind of a bummer. That kind of makes everything look weird without getting the flowers. We'll travel down to some places and see what's like outside of White Run and Falkreath. Um, I may try a new character and see if that changes the flower appearance and stuff. That might be fun. Okay. Everything looks pretty good in here. Now you notice... Still got the old storm cloak instead of having uh, the new Nordwar guard outfit, which kind of surprises me. We'll need to visit each home for an assessment. Is it that time again already? Very well. Let's meet this evening and make. Please address all questions to the steward, oh, well Folk done. Firebeard. Very subtle. I beg your pardon. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I imply that you'd be meeting for purposes other than court business? You must forgive me. Hold your tongue, wizard. Or you're likely... Oh, my goodness. I should very much like to see you try it, my dear student. <laughs> Stop it, both of you. The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. They were fussing here. That was pretty funny. That was a funny exchange. I don't know if I've heard that exchange before. Who's this? Watch your feet. We just clean there. Oh, okay. Very well. All right. Steward, I will need the following reagents for my studies. Please see to them. Miss Stentor, these are quite expensive. But I trust you. Okay. I'm just looking around. Okay, everything seems okay in here, um, except you'll notice again, okay, wait, I said that, right? So you'll notice again, we don't have, like, here's here's a few flowers here, and these look nice. Wait, do we have the death bells? Oh, we do have the death bells. Okay, wait just a minute. So these flowers seem to be okay. Hmm... Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never well we're still going to go out and try things outside of some of the towns but I'm waiting to see what the towns looked like and kind of see how things are so that is solitude solitude looks different and not bad it could use more flowers though and like I said the flowers appear to be missing right now not all the flowers Unless we have specific business, I'm not interested. But quite a few flowers are missing, so it's just something to be aware of. This is part of testing, though, so that's okay. I can, I can live with that. We're gonna try now. We're gonna try the risky proposition of traveling to Windtown. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. Let's make sure. I'm just gonna make me. Did I do a quick save right there? I'm gonna make sure I do a save. All right. All right. Now we're gonna try it. Worst goes, you know, work, you know, Windhelm and Riften, that's where things get kind of touchy sometimes. So we're just going to go straight for it. Um, hopefully everything has felt very good. I've not felt any lower, you know, FPS. Uh, not, nothing in the frame rate has felt low to me. First person shooter FP. 
FPS. Oh, wow. Anyway, the frame rate has not felt uh, lower. Everything feels good and smooth and nice. So I'm trying to give it a chance. And uh, we'll just try traveling around a little bit. If that part works, uh, maybe we can figure something out about the uh, flowers. Uh, maybe I need to bring all those mods down. Um, because I have my big overhaul up. Hi, my big overhauls. Now, I'm using just ice, but I would say that this ice still stands out too much. Even though I'm using just ice, it doesn't quite look like it goes with the, uh, the city. I think the city looks good. I like the stonework and all that. Still, the ice does not look like it goes with the town. The snow... You know, I don't know if I'm ever going to be satisfied with the snow. I'm trying the Hyperborean snow. Sometimes I think it looks good and sometimes not. Um, so I'm just looking around. She's trying to keep warm still. Yeah, look here. Hmm. They are still wearing... They are not wearing the guard overhaul stuff. So I may need to uh, look at my... Where am I going? I thought I was going somewhere. <laughs> I missed my turn. <laughs> um, I may have to look at my load order because I'm getting some things... See, I'm getting some nice flowers where I expect them, and then other times I'm not. And this is still a lot of Clever Sharp's stuff here. It's what we're seeing here. That's why I made note of the ice, because the ice... <clears throat> Excuse me, never quite did look right, and it still doesn't. Yeah, these flowers are missing their flowers. See, here's some. And grant peace to these departed souls. My job's simple enough. The dead don't really complain. Yeah, I guess they don't. Hmm. Oh, this is Susanna's body. <laughs> Why is her body out here? I must have been doing something. Oh, that's terrible. Anyway, so her body is laying in the road out there. Let's see how everybody looks here. Oh, she looks better. She's only got some nice armor there. Working in Wendhelm is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. Oh yeah, she likes Ulfric a lot. A word of advice. Don't buy discounted armor. Oh, very well. Hmm. So I'm not sure that some of my mods are exactly working the way I thought. May the gods watch over your I do think that's strange. I didn't think these guys would still be in that armor. Special treatment just because you have a house in the city. Oh, come on. Give me special treatment. Come on. Hmm. All right. Still, everything looks good. Let's let's pop down to uh, Riften. And then we'll maybe head out to Markar. We're just going to we're just going to look around. You can see there's places I have not been. Let's just go to Riften. Let's just pop down. Since this is... Now, I'm, I may need to start someone new, like I said. Um, and then see how the game goes. It could be that some of this... But I also may need to... You know how I usually keep all my textures and things like that down low? Well, this time I put a lot of the overhauls, the really big files, I put them up top. Um, usually I would expect that to work, but in... I don't know, in this case, I don't really see, I see that we're not getting the flowers, we're not getting things the way I expected. 
So I might move them back down below like I have always, you know, well, like I've done more often in the past. Um, all right, so Riften here. Oops, oops, oops. I'll drop my controller. Okay, now that's a guard wearing the correct outfit. Let's see, what are we going to do? Let's wait till in the morning. Let's just give it 12 hours till morning time. Da, 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 da. Then we can look around a little better because I think Riften's going to look pretty nice. Again, we may still have the flower issue, um, but we'll see. It looks like we do still have some of the flower issue. You're that mage from the college, right? Here things have finally calmed down over there. But, if you'll notice, we have some good flowers. When they're here, they're great flowers. Heard about you and your honeyed words. There's me all. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. Dull old blade can barely cut butter. Oh, you'll be fine, lady. Divine smile on you. Yes. So I like this look in Riften. <clears throat> I don't think this is hard on the eyes at all. I think it looks pretty good. We haven't been out into the Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? Into the world really yet, but just looking around. How can I assist you, companion? Oh, don't worry about it. Everything looks pretty good. Okay. So we have some decent flowers and things. That's nice. We're missing some things, I believe. But just like in the other towns. But we've got a little more here in Riften. Uh, that big butterfly on his head up there. <clears throat> Nonetheless. Hmm. If we can get the flowers to appear like they should. I think the other towns. See, this is kind of what I was expecting. Was this kind of look. Looks good. Feels okay. I don't feel like a huge slowdown or anything here. Frame rate seems okay. And we do have more flowers here. These are the nightshades. That's what I thought. Okay. Nothing wrong here. Hmm. I thought all these dead bushes would not be here, honestly. Due to that one mod. All right. Okay, so Riften seems okay, though. It does. It ain't true what they say about you and and the Dark Brotherhood, is it? Don't worry about it. You've not heard about me in the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, the chickens! And now here we have a little batch of flowers, and this looks nice. Little little garden area for Honeyside. Yeah. Okay. These look pretty good. The cabbages look pretty nice. The potatoes. The taters look good. You gotta have good looking taters. You know how it is. We must have the good looking taters. Alright, well. Hmm. Am I gonna pop into Honeyside? I don't really have any reason to. Alright, let's go. Let's see, we've been here. Let's see, we've been Windhelm, Riften. The trickiest of towns, usually Windhelm and Riften. So, I'm, I'm glad... That we had no trouble moving around the countryside so far. That's a good sign. Even though maybe my flowers aren't popping up like I would have wanted, it's still a good sign that uh, we can move around easily from town to town and we're not having any, any crashes or anything like that. That's always a good sign. So then after this, you know, we just have to get out and wander around a little bit and see what the trees and flowers look like out, you know, out on the ground. 
Again, I may need to go ahead and make a new character. I was going to run through this with Elric, but now I'm starting to question that because, well, because of what we've just seen, uh, a lot of the flowers are missing. I wonder, do I need to start a new game if my problem is that or if I need to adjust my load order? So, might have to play around with that. I know we've been doing this now about, eh, about 40 minutes or so. So we'll go a little bit longer. And we'll take a look here at Markarth and uh, see how things look. I think Markarth looks good. The, the Clever Sharp version. Now look, these guys again. Hey, you mixed it's clothes. a Stormcloak soldier, but I thought the Stormcloak armor... I must not have a replacer for the Stormcloak armor. Oh, it's him. Need something? Froki. Froki could be a follower, couldn't she? She looks pretty good. Need something? She could be a follower. I don't know. Oh, not you. I don't want to talk to you. You you go on and drink without me, dude. I'm gonna look around for a minute. And here's this kid. I'm gonna be a silversmith one day, like my mother and father. Yep, there's our. I promise you, I buy much more than simple. Good, good. There's a storm cloak. You put those forsworn down. Good job. Okay. I'm glad everybody likes that. I don't remember Markarth having like a lot of flowers and stuff, but they do have some plants and things. So. That's good. Overall, I would say it looks pretty good. You know, for a first time in, I just went, I was kind of, you know, like I said, I was kind of bored. I just wanted to make something new. God like White Mane is in a better place now. Or is there any place better than Sovan Gord? But, you know, I'm kind of... Hmm. Maybe I should have looked for a... Uh, I thought I had a Stormcloak armor replacer, but I guess not. I did the guard armors. you were at the wedding of the Emperor's cousin. In solitude. God. Hmm. What is it, Imperia? Why, sure, is that... Is that a Zora star? How did you come to possess such a rare treasure? Oh, don't worry about it. Anyway, what was I saying? So, um... I'm not sure if I have everything exactly the way I wanted it. But to start a new game, everything might be better. So, I didn't check out the way ever, everybody in the game looks. As you noticed, I just kind of ran around and looked at some, some things. Um, I didn't look at everything. I think that's okay. Let's pop down to Falkreath and check out the woods and the trees. Um, that'll this will give me an idea of whether or not I've actually done something I want to keep or not. Because part of what I was trying to do was get some nice looking trees and different things like that. Um, it looks like all the major holds, all the major towns work fine. Um, like I said, they're missing some flowers, but. I don't think that's beyond the realm of fixing or correcting. And uh, I thought I had a different armor set in that would replace the Stormcloak armor with one of Nord Wars, but perhaps I missed something. Maybe I didn't get everything I intended to get. Um, so I might need to go back and make some slight changes and adjustments. Um, so that these guys look like what I want them to look like. The guard armors appear to be there, and they appear to be working correctly. I know part of this is just me musing these things over, um, and, and just thinking this through in my head. Um, but yeah, I really want to see what the outdoors looks like, how everything looks there. We'll travel up to uh, Dragon Bridge and look there. That's one of my favorite places to go because there's so much I can see there. I can go up and see the snow trees and different things and see if this see if this load order is doing what I want it to do. And I may need to look through and see if I have uh, messed anything up. 
because the flowers aren't really oh did you see shadow mirror over there uh okay so these are storm cloaks again which is fine the trees look pretty good only burglars and vampires creep around after dark so which are you oh come on now be nice It's nothing to be that way about, is it? So let's see. I'm going to give this... Hold on. We'll give this to about 8 a.m. Actually, that's good enough. Okay, so overall, I would say the trees look pretty good. Now these are the green trees, of course. Hmm, I wonder, are we still missing some flowers and stuff? I think we might be. I think, possibly, it could be that one of the mods is supposed to remove the dead bushes, which is not really removing dead bushes. That's removing the flowers. Either that or the one that's removing the uh, the log stuff. Something is removing the flowers is what I think. Listener, fancy seeing you out here. Oh. I'm sure Nazir's cooking is great and all, but my appetites are a little more discerning. Oh, okay. You could call it that. Didn't put up much of a fight, but made for a tasty snack. A rich bouquet of flavors. I would definitely recommend it. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Um, yeah. You got snacked on. Well, there's not much we can do about that. So yeah, I think I'm going to adjust a few things. The trees overall look pretty good. We'll see what the snow trees look like. That's going to be a big difference because one of the reasons I wanted to change my trees was the snow trees. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I have a I have a difficulty mod <laughs> which I probably should have mentioned before now. <laughs> um I may be in trouble here. Let's <laughs> let's see what we can do. I'm not I haven't been I have I don't have him ready for any kind of fighting. Um I guess he should use his, his dragon stuff that I prepared for him, which at least has a little bit of uh, enchantment on it. So, yeah. <laughs> I said, I said, I have a little bit of a, an encounter mod on that, that might prove <laughs> to be interesting. So, the wilds of Skyrim are going to be a little dangerous in this, this mod. <laughs> I should have put the god ring on and just killed him. But it's interesting for you to see um, that I, I was just suddenly swarmed. Um, and that's funny. That, that's pretty funny. All right. All right. Um, okay, let's go to Dragon Bridge. We didn't really get a chance to look around really good here. Black White Man is in a better place now. Yeah, I but think we're going to need. I really think we're going to need to try to experiment with some of the mods. Um, I think they might be doing something unexpected. Um, there's a couple of mods that I'm suspicious of that we can we can try turning those off for one. Maybe instead of removing the dead shrubs and stuff, maybe instead it's removing the flowers by accident. Or something silly like that. You'd think that wouldn't happen, but, you know, 
I, I'm not a modder. I imagine anything you know, could accidentally be occurring. But let's go up to Dragon Bridge and just see what the... I want to see what the snow trees look like. That'll tell me if this, what I'm doing, is truly worthwhile or if I've missed the mark. Because I was really wanting to get some decent snow trees. I'm, I'm trying to remember the last time I had a mod that had some good snow trees. And it's been a while. A lot of them tend to do, when they do the heavy snow on the trees, they tend to, I don't know, it tends to look clumpy and kind of overdone. Um, so I would rather have a lighter snow on the trees and just have them maybe just you know have a colorized but not totally messed up look see i think the trees look pretty good overall i mean you know depends on what you like and i mean nothing is going to be a hundred percent perfect i know that um but Keep walking, stranger. Oh, keep walking. Everything all right? Yep, everything's fine, except... I'm hoping to run my own inn someday. Oh, okay. Okay, like, I might prefer that look. Do you see that look? Let's go up here and take a look at those trees. The flowers and the grass and everything looks good here. I don't see the grass breaking through anything, because I... I took care of that. These dead bushes are still here, so I think that mod might be making a mistake, because it's not removing those dead bushes. So is it instead removing some of the flowers? Oh, no. Okay, hold on a second. These guys... <laughs> now, understand... That I'm doing this so we can see the trees without me dying again, okay? Alright. Hey, hey, hey. Ever look at what what is her helmet there? What is that? That looks so weird. Um, okay, so anyway, let's put our shield on. We'll put the correct stuff on. This stuff was stuff I had made Elric originally. Where's his weapon? So, just so you know, I hope I didn't kill any townspeople or guards. Doesn't look like it. So. Bandit thug? What was she? Bandit outlaw? That hat looked wild. You could, I could um, resurrect some of them, but I'm not going to for right now. <laughs> Look at this brave chicken. I'm just out walking the road, man. Da, 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 just walking the road. <laughs> I'm sorry. Silly things like that get me sometimes. The ro Here, those guys swarmed me, and this chicken just goes walking down the road. Ah, I ain't got a problem in the world, man. Alright, so anyway, these trees might be better. See that? I think there's a lot more bad guys in the world because of my difficulty mod, which someone suggested, and I said, you know, I've taken a few other suggestions, so I thought I would try this. Let's go see if these are bad guys. I think if they are. I think they're just waiting for me to show up. Yeah, look at that. Hello? Did you hear something? <laughs> How did I ever miss her? I was like right on top of her. I'm just flailing around. There we go. Okay, that was interesting. 
So they are. There's supposed to be a lot of, of different spawn points in this game uh, due to the mod I'm using. Um, they're in the bushes. Okay, that's all right. They can be in the bushes. I could have my own bandit thug follower. <laughs> oh my goodness. She looked wild. Yep. All right. Nonetheless, you get the idea. Since we're just playing around and testing, you know. Again, the trees look pretty good. I think they, hmm, I don't know. They look pretty good, like I said. I wonder if they could look a little better. But they don't look awful. And the snow trees up here, I think they look better. You know, because they're, uh, they, they just have a, oh, again? You people. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm just going to have to, so this is, okay, this difficulty mod, if I didn't, if I wasn't wearing the god ring, this would really be something to behold. So definitely interesting that I'm getting so many bad guys. Unfortunately, I am using the God Ring because I don't have any followers and we saw what happens if you just let them swarm you. If they swarm you, you're, you're pretty much done. I don't know what all these names are supposed to be. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh my goodness. Oh, she looks messed up, doesn't she? Hmm. Anyway. Alright, so we've been at this for about an hour. We, we're looking here. Why does he still... Hmm. He... Hmm. He can't get his clothes. That's funny. Nonetheless, you see these trees. I think these trees look better than some of the others I've had. I'm not sure if I'm totally sold on this, though. But I do like the way... Oh, look at this. Poor Stormcloak Soldier. All dead. Let's see if we can... Oh, we can't pick her up? I thought we'd be able to pick her up. Hold on. Oh, there we go. I wonder if I can resurrect her. I didn't see her die. So I may or may not be able to resurrect her. <laughs> She's sliding down the hill now. Hold still. Oh, I did that backwards. Hold on. There we go. Let's see if we can resurrect her. I don't know if we can. Depends on whether or not she was dead or if they killed her. There we go. Not too bad. Talos guide you. Well, you should be happy I just rezzed you. That was nice, wasn't it? Anyway, I think I like this better than the other snow trees with all the clumpy snow. I'm still not sure... Someone will have to tell me. Still not sure if this is the best. But these trees, if you look, these trees look pretty good. All right, anyway, um, I think we're done here for this hour. We'll come back and do some more. I have uh, some other stuff I have to do, and then we'll get back to this. Hey, wait, who's this down here? It's the old orc. Dude, I am not fighting you right now. You'll just have to wait. And look, here he's killed a saber-toothed tiger, a couple of saber cats. That's funny. Well, we'll talk to him later. I'm going to save right here. All right. Okay, so that's our first hour of testing. Everything's gone well. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later. Ooh, I've come to get my Krabby Patties back. Yes, I must have my Krabby Patties back. I can still stuff them back in my shell and I would be a whole crab again.
I must have the Krabby Patties back. Give them back to me. Ooh.